hook takedown. So on a leg hook takedown, first we want to gauge distance on the clinch. So this is just a benchmark. I drop the hand. He moves in. I want to drill, practicing, and then we always check. So we can work this a couple times back and forth. But the, the drill itself, or the technique itself, is what I'm holding here. This is to maintain and control and manage distance. So I would move back. But I don't want to let ever move back more than once. So if he came in, I would move back. If he went to punch, i cover, come into the chest, put my head to the shoulder, and clinch. Let's take a look at this side. So as the punch comes in, I cover into the chest. I'm going to step around the front leg. I put my head to his chest, and then my hands are going to grip just like this to the side. I put hip pressure in and head pressure to the chest. This keeps him off balance and a little in control. Once again, in its entirety, he steps in, I step back. He goes to punch, in, clinch. Now, a lot of people have this question, and you may be asking it. This hand's free, and it's the punch hand. It is. But I'm controlled. My head is here. So when he goes to punch, he's off position. Okay, that's the clinch.